so we will do the exercise on overfitting and underfitting in this exercise what we will do is that we will improve the training outcomes by including an early stopping callback to prevent overfitting okay so this is the first cell where we are setting up everything next what we will do is that we will load the spotify data set the task will be to predict the popularity of the song based on various audio features like tempo, danceability and mode. So the first step is to load the data and we copy the uh, Spotify data. We drop the columns which have the uh, null attributes and our target is the track popularity and we see that these are the rows and the columns, uh, various kinds of columns are there. Note here that there are um, many descriptive columns out here. And the next thing that we do is that we divide the songs into two parts, the train and the test. But here it's a very important split here that we keep all the artist songs in one split so that the same artist song is not in another split. So let us take an example and uh, show what it is doing. So this is a code for it. Um, what it is doing is that, say suppose I choose an artist, Sarah Larson. So it's in the train set we see, but you will not find in the, in the validation set, the testing set. So uh, let's uh, start with the simplest uh, model. This model has low capacity. Okay. So before we do that, what we do is that we pre-process the data. The processing of the data is that similar. We take the numeric features and we scale it. And the uh, categorical features, we one hot encode it. So. Uh, this is the thing, the popularity is also scaled to 0 and 1 in the uh, target state. And what is the input shape? So there are 18 uh, columns in the input shape. Now this is the simplest model that we are doing. It has got uh, a single neuron. The input shape is 18 and it is 1 and we train it and we train it for 50 epochs. The historical uh, the val validation loss and the training loss is in the history data set and we plot it uh, so it is merged we cannot see much of it so what we do is that we uh, start the plot at epoch 10 now you see there is a separation between the train and the validation loss the it is not like the validation loss uh, learning curves that we have seen is that we see that the validation curve what would happen is that it would decrease to a certain point and then it would increase but here it is not increasing so this is a uh, example of underfitting right so that's what it is saying that the validation loss never increases it's more likely that the network is underfitting so let's add more capacity to the network. So now what we do is that we add uh, hidden layers, 128, the first layer, 64, and then 1. And then we run it again. And similarly, we would also have a validation loss and a training loss. And let's see of how it is. So you see here, it is the validation loss is different from the training loss, and it is uh, it is decreasing. So this shows that there is uh, a concept of overfitting here because the training loss continues to decrease but the validation loss is not um, decreasing much. So what we do is that we uh, do the early stopping callback. So what is the early stopping callback? That is the minimum delta which is 0 0.001 the minimum amount of change to count as an improvement and number of epochs to wait before we stop so it is 5 
and we restore the best weights and we use this early stopping callback in our uh, model. The model remains the same. When we fit it, you see that the callback is early stopping here and then we see that it is 50 box. Let's see whether the early stopping callback um, did help. So you see it, it stopped at around uh, 9, right? So, so this was an improvement and uh, the early stopping callback did stop the network from overfitting and we did restore the best weights by using the restore best weights uh, parameter. You see here the restore best weights in the early stopping that is set to true. So this is a way that we do a model in which we increase the capacity, we utilized the um, callback facilities. Hope you understood. Thank you for watching. Bye.